let's take a look at how the Air Force's existing F-15s are stepping into a new generation. The F-15 Eagle is an air superiority fighter that has stood the test of time with an unbeatable combat record of over 100 victories to zero air-to-air -air losses. To put that number in perspective, there are many air forces today which do not have 100 fighters. Today, the F-15 is the USAF's frontline air dominance fighter with over 230 single-seat F-15Cs and over 200 dual-seat F-15E Strike Eagles in the operational inventory. The F-15 Eagle is expected to serve until at least 2040 and is a proven platform. However, the F-15 airframe design is almost 50 years old and the average age of the fleet is over 30 years. The Eagle is in need of an avionics upgrade to stay current with near-peer threats. Before we go any further, this video does not cover the newly introduced F-15EX, but rather the existing F-15Cs, Ds, and Es already in the USAF inventory. The F-15EX is an amazing and essentially all-new platform and is already the subject of its own video. I will leave a link in the video description below. Getting back to the current fleet of F-15s, between the F-15C and E models, virtually every tactical application of aerial warfare is capable of being prosecuted. These include, but are not limited to, air superiority, long-range interdiction, suppression of enemy air defenses or SEED, escorting bombers or other high-value assets such as AWACS, combat patrol, interception, and given its endurance, support of friendly forces for extended periods of time on station. Given their relatively large numbers, operational readiness, and global deployment, the Eagle is likely to be one of, if not the first, USAF aircraft to respond to a sudden or developing threat. And while there are still few fighters today that can fly as fast, as far, and as long as the Eagle, as we mentioned before, the avionics are starting to become dated. For example, most of today's F-15s are equipped with the Tactical Electronic Warfare System, or TWOS, which has been in use since the 1980s. Like many classic fourth-generation sensor platforms, TWOS has each system operating independently of the other and displaying information on its own screen. For example, the radar B-scope would be on one screen, the radar warning receiver on another, and the moving map on yet another display. The pilot has to look at each screen and then mentally combine the various information being provided to then interpret or build a picture of what's happening around them. As you can imagine, glancing from screen to screen that is displaying discrete information in order to build a situational awareness picture takes time away from the pilot and is not optimal. Fortunately, after successfully completing rigorous flight testing and technology demonstrators, Boeing has awarded BAE Systems a $58 million contract to start LRIP or Low Rate Initial Production on the new Eagle Passive Active Warning and Survivability System or EPAWS. EPAWS is arguably the world's most advanced electronic warfare integrated suite, combining radar warning, geolocation, situational awareness, and self-protection into one package. EPAWS is unsurpassed in its exploitation of the electromagnetic spectrum and is designed to allow both existing F-15Cs and Es to operate and survive in highly contested environments. As a result, the system allows for deeper penetration of modern integrated air defense networks by fourth generation fighters. EPAWS is an all digital setup consisting of processors, frequency converters, transmitters, and antennas. The all digital infrastructure takes up much less room and this space savings allows existing F-15Cs and Es to carry 50% more flares and chaff as compared to current versions that are equipped with legacy systems. EPAWS is a major update that provides the pilot a vastly improved assessment of the battle space and real-time situational awareness. When it comes to task management, EPAWS takes a fifth generation approach to sensor information, processing, and presentation. All of the aforementioned components are combined into a single and easy to interpret format for the pilot to use, providing true sensor fusion to Eagle pilots. In this way, the pilot can spend less time sourcing information from different displays and more time on higher level real-time decision making. This advantage cannot be understated. And while the displays may not seem as high resolution as modern cell phones or even personal computers, the amount of engineering and programming to accomplish this feat is astounding. 
Keep in mind that in order to maximize the pilot's efficiency, a simple and concise graphical interface is needed. Air combat is an environment where seconds can determine success or failure, and the more efficient your sensor platform, the greater edge you can obtain. BAE Systems has been a world leader in electronic warfare systems for over 60 years, and in order to meet the manufacturing demand that will be needed to equip existing Eagles with EPAWS, BAE Systems has already invested over $100 million in world-class factories, electronic warfare laboratories, and leading experts in the field. This will allow Eagles to be equipped as quickly as possible while providing ongoing updates to new threats as they are discovered. Along with upgrading the Eagle fleet with the EPAWS system, the Air Force is currently performing research which is aimed at adding Cognitive Electronic Warfare or CEW. So what is CEW? Essentially, by making use of both artificial intelligence and machine learning, algorithms can be developed to further advance the airborne electronic warfare capabilities of the Eagle. In a traditional electronic warfare countermeasure application, an aircraft would rely on a stored database which would contain known threat frequencies and electronic emissions. For example, this database could be used to jam or interfere with the tracking system of a known type of surface-to-air missile battery. However, in the never-ending game of move and counter-move, novel signals which are not in the NATO database of electronic emissions are continuously being developed to track NATO aircraft. In the current state, these new signals would have to be analyzed and then added to the database, a process which is lengthy and does not help the aircraft who made the initial encounter. With CEW implementing real-time AI along with machine learning, new signals can be identified and cataloged, and theoretically an electronic countermeasure could be developed rapidly, possibly even during the mission for which the novel signature was encountered. Keep in mind that as far as we can tell, CEW is still very much in the early stages of development. The Air Force wants to improve the Eagle's defensive electronic warfare capabilities incrementally by making both use of new and emerging systems such as EPAWS. What do you think? Does upgrading the existing Eagle fleet with EPAWS represent a giant leap forward for the F-15? Will cognitive electronic warfare become standard on the battlefields of the near future? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell for notifications. That way you'll know as soon as the next video comes out. Stay safe and see you next time.